Greetings. This is the 12th video in the series regarding the direct corresponding relationship between major earthquakes, significant volcanic eruptions and the solar eclipse. This video will be focused on Italy. Italy is one of the most seismically active countries in the Mediterranean that have the highest seismic risk. The country sits where the African and Eurasian plates converge and are squeezing together at a rate of 10 millimetres per year. However, this nation's high seismicity just can't be explained by this convergence process alone. There must be a much more complex lithospheric process that is controlling some of the deformation observed at the surface. The Eastern Alps are particularly seismically active with many shallow earthquakes on north dipping thrust faults. The deadliest documented earthquake in Europe was on December 28, 1908, when a magnitude 7.1 earthquake struck in the Strait of Messina between Sicily and mainland Italy that killed 72,000 people. It is my intention with the creation of this video series to show just how the solar eclipse can give us a glimpse of a future major geophysical disturbance for those with eyes to see, as there's far more things going on during a solar eclipse than meets the eye. There will be three consecutive solar eclipses from the years of 2026 through 2028 that will have the moon's shadow and path of totality focus over mainland Italy that indicates a potential of one or two major earthquake events to come. One major earthquake potentially greater than seven magnitude could be possible as well as a potential volcanic activation in the years from 2028 through 2031. Now I'm going to show past major earthquakes in Italy and their related solar eclipse foreshadows. Two solar eclipses of the years of 1781 and 1782 shared a hypersymmetry and just a year following, a series of major earthquakes struck Calabria, where two of these earthquakes registered seven magnitude. A series of five significant earthquakes devastated the region, killing 50,000 people. Note the symmetry of both eclipse paths sharing the limit of the Moon's second contact, depicted by the green dot paths around the path of totality in both of the images above. This also represents the next step in movement of the Sara cycle. In September 1857, an annual solar eclipse had a perfect termination and starting node through mainland Italy, and just three months later a devastating magnitude 7 earthquake destroyed Basilicata, killing 19,000 people. In 1905, a major earthquake struck Calabria on September 8, killing 2,500, severely damaging parts of Lipari, Messina, Cosenza and Nicotera officially classified as the first major earthquake of the 20th century. Note that this major event was preceded by a solar eclipse of November of 1901, which had a direct termination and entry node right through the epicentre of this future earthquake to come. Just three years later, another major earthquake for Italy. A severe magnitude 7.1 earthquake struck in December in the Strait of Messina, completely devastating cities of Messina and Reggio Calabria killing between 75,000 and 82,000, making it the most destructive earthquake to ever strike Europe. A 12 metre tsunami was associated with this event. The quake just lasted 37 seconds, but the damage and destruction was extensive. Just three years before this disaster, a solar eclipse foreshadowed this event to come. The 1905 eclipse had a near path of totality crossing just south across the African plate, between Sicily, Tunisia and Malta. In 1915, a magnitude 6.7 earthquake struck Avezzano, killing 32,000 on January 13, devastating Masica. Note that there were two solar eclipses that preceded this major event in 1912 and 1914, both sharing second contact of the Moon's path of totality, having a direct influence over Italy and surrounding regions. In 1930, Erpinia suffered a magnitude 6.6 .6 earthquake in July, killing 1,400. Areas severely affected were Basilicata and Apulia. Two solar eclipses were foreshadows for this event. A partial solar eclipse of 1927 focused over Italy and the solar eclipse of 1930 in the month of April having a termination just three months prior to this major earthquake event. In 1976, northern Italy suffered a magnitude 6.5 earthquake in Friuli. This earthquake killed almost a thousand people. Note there were two solar eclipses that preceded this major earthquake, 1973 a path of totality entering through Africa, heading towards Italy, and in 1976, just months prior to this major earthquake, a path of totality just south of the Italian mainland. 1980, a magnitude 6.9 earthquake struck Erpinia. This earthquake killed almost 5,000. 
This Indian earthquake was also preceded by the solar eclipse of 1976 in the month of April, note the path of totality just south of Italy. Two solar eclipses preceded another major earthquake in Italy. October 2005 solar eclipse had a direct termination focus for the Italian region and following year in March 2006 solar eclipse also had a second contact and near path of totality focus around Italy. Both solar eclipses were foreshadows for the major 2009 L'Aquila earthquake that killed 309 people, severely affected Abruzzo and this was a very shallow and extremely violent earthquake event. Northern Italy was struck by two strong earthquakes in 2012, the largest 6.1 magnitude severely affecting Emilia Romagna killing 27. The previous year a partial solar eclipse had a strong second contact of the moon focus over Italy, forewarn this event to come. In 2016 central Italy, Amatrice suffered a magnitude 6.2 earthquake killing 300. It struck in the early hours of Lazio province in Italy. This powerful earthquake was devastating. Just two months later another series of strong earthquakes struck the region. A 6.1 magnitude earthquake struck on October 26 and just four days later a much larger 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake struck killing three more people. Very powerful earthquakes. They were all preceded by a solar eclipse termination the previous year. The most recent solar eclipse of April 2024 does have a direct termination that could be linked back into two solar eclipses that preceded major earthquakes. The 2005 and 2015 solar eclipses look very similar to the most recent solar eclipse. That may imply we could get a comparable event to the 2009 L'Aquila earthquake or the swarm of earthquakes that occurred in 2016 in central Italy. And that will imply a strong earthquake, potentially 6.5, 6.6 magnitude could be quite possible in the years of 2025 and 2026. But my main worry and concern is what's lying ahead, the years of 2026 and 2027. The solar eclipses of those years could be foreshadows and link directly back into the 1905 and 1908 earthquakes of Calabria and Messina. I am concerned and the reason for this upload that there could be a potential 7 magnitude earthquake coming in one of these locations in southern Italy in the years of 2029 or 2030. Italy is a home of seven active volcanoes, four of them submarine volcanoes and three of them are on land. Campi Flegrei, Mount Vesuvius and Mount Etna are significant volcanoes. Not only does Italy have an earthquake history but it also has a very long history of volcanic eruptions. The most famous eruption was in 79 AD at Mount Vesuvius, officially classed as a VE5 eruption its pyroclastic flows completely destroying settlements of Roman towns in the area of Pompeii and Herculaneum, completely obliterated and buried underneath massive pyroclastic surges and ashfall deposits. Note the solar eclipse of 75 AD, four years prior to this volcanic eruption. We have a perfect termination going right through the volcano and a harbinger of what was to come. The next major Vesuvius eruption come in 1631. Note that in 1628 and 1630 there were two solar eclipse terminations that were perfect foreshadows for this eruption to come. Mount Vesuvius also erupted in 1906 and 1944. Both of these eruptions were preceded by solar eclipses. But the interesting information about these solar eclipses is that they were from the same Syros branch 143. Hardly a coincidence. Here is another look at the 1941 solar eclipse. Note that the eclipse begins seemingly coming out of Italy, a perfect entry node. Some of the largest volcanic eruptions in history share this same symmetry. Let's now focus on Saros Branch 141 and how it echoes back through time and it will also reveal what lies ahead. The 1901 solar eclipse can be attributed to the 1905 Calabria earthquake or the 1906 Vesuvius eruption. Whichever was its true link will reveal itself in 2028, where the eclipse will be a reflection in time. And moving ahead to the Saros branch, it continues to 1973. Saros cycle 141 shows another reflection moving into Italy. The 1973 annual solar eclipse is perfectly represented as a foreshadow for the 1976 Friuli earthquake mentioned previously in this video. Now moving ahead, Saros Branch 141 continues into 2028 and that leads us into potentially the strongest solar eclipse of this decade. Now I have initially assessed this as a potential earthquake event for Lisbon and a potential very large earthquake that may have a tsunami associated. But the worry is that this could also be a volcanic harbinger for Italy. So that is also a main concern as well. 
In conclusion, I'm concerned of a potential of a seven magnitude or greater earthquake for Italy in the coming years. And it could also be an earthquake registered around 6.6 .6 to 6.7 magnitude just from the recent solar eclipse of 2024. And if that's not enough, there could also be a potential that Mount Vesuvius may erupt in the years of 2029 through 2031 through solar eclipse, termination history and foreshadowing. And that concludes the 12th video in the series regarding the direct corresponding relationship between major earthquakes, significant volcanic eruptions and the solar eclipse. And for more information, please visit my websites at solarwatcher.net and quakewatcher.com where there will be more information for members and subscribers as well as website newsletters. I'll leave you with this. Whoever wishes to foresee the future must consult the past. And you have to know the past to understand the present. Thanks for watching.